Okay, let's take a look here at the anatomy of a single Azure function. So here is a screenshot of Visual Studio Code because this is where you're gonna be writing your functions. You can write them somewhere else, I sure don't know where, but um, they have really strong integrations with Visual Studio Code. But the idea here is that we have a um, Visual Studio Code plugin installed that allows us to uh, manage our remote functions and we have local projects. But let's take a look at some of the files that are in here so we can understand what kind of files matter to our functions. The first is functions.json. This is configuration of a single function defining bindings. And we talk a lot about bindings uh, in the Azure Functions section of this course. There's the code itself. And in this case, it's a JavaScript file. We have the func ignore. That's just like a get ignore file, but it's to ignore files, like files to be not packaged, right? So like uh, when it actually deploys the function, you don't want those files included but you might use them in local development. Uh, we have host.json. This is global configuration of all functions at the function app level. Um, then there's the local project itself. This is just where the function is stored locally. And a lot of times you're moving that code to, uh, to the remote um, storage on Azure. And if we were just to open that up, you can kind of see the same files being mirrored. So we have the name of the folder. So it's host.json, function.json index, etc. local settings, JSON, package, JSON, things like that. Um, so I'll just kind of erase a little bit of this out of here, but you get the idea and it'll make a lot more sense when we start uh, making functions, which we absolutely do in this course, critical for the AZ204. So, but we'll do that soon.